Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so special to me because it is in collaboration with one of my good friends here, Bethany Barber. Ever since I watched her first video, I was like, yes, we are soul sisters. <laughs> her videos are super relatable to me as far as who I watch on YouTube. I just absolutely love her. She keeps it real and she's just so awesome. She has two littles and she's putting out cleaning content and then she does like some cooking and baking and I just know that y'all will love her so much. So once you're done watching my video today, make sure you go check out Bethany's channel. Let her know that I sent you. Hit the subscribe button while you're there. Like her video and drop her a comment. I know that y'all will not regret it. I will have her channel linked in my description box. If this is your first time here, I just wanted to take a second to say hi and introduce myself. First off, thank you so much for coming by my channel. I really hope that you guys enjoy it while you're here. My channel revolves a lot around cleaning motivation, tons of cleaning motivation and homemaking. Um, I really, really am just loving this YouTube and this community. And so if that sounds like your jam, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell. And that way you won't miss out on any of the encouragement and inspiration and motivation and all of the good things. I upload twice a week right now on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, I also am a mom to two little girls. I have a 10 year old and a one year old and I homeschool my 10 year old. We are currently living in South Louisiana um, and I have been married to my husband for 10 years, which is absolutely crazy. <laughs> so I would love it if you drop me a comment down below and just introduce yourself and told me a little bit about yourself. I love chatting with you guys. I really, really enjoyed doing my last After Dark clean with me just because it has been a while since I was able to clean without any distractions or anything like that. Everyone was in bed and so it just makes my life so much easier. And to be honest, it's so relaxing. Like cleaning After Dark is so relaxing when everyone's in bed. Let me know if y'all are like that too. Do you like to clean after dark, like when everyone's in bed, or do you? would you rather do it before? I'm kind of half and half because I really do love my sleep. <laughs> like, I love sleep, y'all. <laughs> and so by the end of the day, I'm normally pretty tired, but some nights I am just kind of feeling it, and I know that it's just kind of a little bit of me time, I guess, which is kind of weird to say because... I'm cleaning, but it's still me time. So I don't know. I hope that makes sense, but let me know if you're the same. So now that I've got all the dishes into the dishwasher, I'm going to go ahead and give my sink a really nice scrub down. I like to do this every night before I go to sleep. It just helps me feel better that I have a nice, clean, sparkly sink. And this has to be my most favorite chore. I wouldn't even call it a chore. This, like, because I love it that much, I love, love scrubbing out my sink and cleaning it up. And I honestly don't know why I haven't been doing this my entire life. Next up, I'm just going to be wiping down all of my counters and the outside of my appliances. And I'm also going to be spot cleaning my cabinets. Since they are white, every little bitty thing shows up and they were definitely in need of some love. Person, I admit it's working. You're working. Don't care, you're crazy, it's perfect. Shaky and I'm slurring. I'm nervous that 
can y'all believe that Christmas is a week away? I just think it is so crazy. This year has, at the same time, flown by and been the slowest year ever. Am I alone on that? Let me know I'm not alone on that because honestly, things that happened at the beginning of this year feels like it happened like last year. Like this year was two years combined into one. But then at the same time, I look at my kids and I look at pictures of them and they have just grown so much just this year. And I don't know, it's just wild how the days are long, but the years are short. But all that to say, I really am just trying to just slow down and just savor this Christmas season. Normally, I'm like, I cannot wait for just this stress to be over because, to be honest, I mean, we all know the holidays can be a little bit stressful, um, but this year, I'm trying something different, and I'm really just trying to slow down, soak everything in, and just really be more present there with my kids and with my husband and um, with God and just be thankful and grateful and I, that's just something that I'm trying to do, and to be honest, it's really making me a much happier person. So now I'm just moving on to my little front entryway right here, and I just wanted to wipe down the door, wipe down the light switches, and get this front area cleaned up and disinfected because this is where we all come in, obviously, and I like to take off our shoes as soon as we get into the door. I try to keep the no shoe rule. Um, I'm spraying bleach water on the foot right there and letting it sit for a few minutes just to let you know. But um, because our apartment is basically like 95% carpet, I'm kind of really crazy about not having shoes on the carpet. And so I have that little shoe basket right there and we try our best to take off our shoes as soon as we get into the door. So I'm curious if you're like that too, do you wear shoes in the house or not? Surprisingly, my living room wasn't too terrible. I'm not really sure how that even happened because 95% of the time, it is, <laughs> um, but I knew that I needed to definitely come in and vacuum up really well in the living room and for sure by my front entryway. I'm a little bit better on vacuuming the dining room out every day just because that's where we eat and there's carpet in there, but the living room and the front entryway, I really need to get better about vacuuming that more. So to finish up my cleaning for the night, I wanted to go ahead and get my load folded for the day. I have been doing so good, you guys, on keeping up with my one load a day, and I'm just so happy and so grateful and thankful that I am able to keep this up now. I give myself a little pat on the back. Um, I spent that day in the instant laundry motivation video that y'all saw just catching up on laundry and ever since then it's kind of motivated me to just keep the one load a day rule and it has been so much less overwhelming for sure. If you see right above my head our elf stole one of our stockings and is hanging out in it on our tree. And that is going to be it for today's video, y'all. I really hope that you got tons of cleaning motivation from this video and you're able to tackle whatever you need to in your home. Don't forget, do not forget, go check out Bethany's video and her channel. Let her know I sent you. And if y'all liked this video, give me a big thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. I love chatting with y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed day.